Hi everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Thank you so much for joining us here. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Jesse Almond. Hi Jesse. It's so fun to have be on here with you. Ashley. Look at us. Okay, so last time we were here together, you were a guest and we were eating Girl Scout cookies. That's true. <laughs> on the air. Yes. And they were amazing. They were incredible. <laughs> and I said, I'm so happy that she was brave enough to eat Girl Scout cookies with yes, me on air. Absolutely. And, and now yeah. here we are. <laughs> Okay, so we possibly were going to have you on yesterday. Yes. Sophia's at a conference right now, so we're kind of, you know, juggling some schedules, yep. as we do in live television, everyone. Yes. <laughs> but you had the most incredible weekend. Oh, my goodness. You got to see Pink. Yes. Tell I us mean, about she it. She is just like, I love her. She is like my idol. Yes. I love her so much. It was incredible. I mean, she is just phenomenal. That voice. I mean, that body, can we just say that? Right. Oh my gosh, she is so fit and doing all of her aerial tricks. Okay, so is this yes. her so Cirque du Soleil show? Yes, <laughs> she is flinging around that Fargo Dome. Like, oh, there she is. How yes. does she not get sick? How does she sing like that while she does it? It was absolutely incredible. We were, we got, we're fortunate to be close too, so it was just like, I was so starstruck. I'm like, she's right there. She's just, she's right oh. there. There she is. Oh my gosh. I'm incredible. just studying the video because your seats, was that the pit? It was crazy. Yes. Yeah. It was crazy. Yes. We were, there was a mix up and then we ended up getting these seats. And so it was incredible. Oh, <laughs> wait, we jumped the gun on this one. Okay. So, so you love pink. I do. You idolize her in more ways than one. Yep. Okay. Tell us about so this. So about a year ago, I started taking aerial, aerial silks and um, definitely a little pink inspired. Um, yeah, so this is some pictures of me doing aerial. Um, Are it's you so kidding? so much fun. I never thought I'd be able to, um, I never thought the upper body would be able to lift the lower body yeah. in my case, but um, <gasps> it's incredible. It's really, it's a lot of fun. It, it has taken a long time to like be able to do anything really yeah. picture worthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it feels so good. Yeah, it's very empowering, weirdly. Yeah. So awesome. this is a class that you take? Yes, it's called Aerial Silks. I take it. Um, I probably only end up getting there like once a week, but they have it twice a week. So depending on the schedule, once or twice a week. So this wasn't like day one, week one. Oh gosh, no, no, this was almost a year in. Yeah, <gasps> okay. yeah that was almost a year in. So, so on, on day one of class, do you even work with it or day is it? Day one, yeah, day one is just like, can I c climb? So they oh teach you no, climb. that's day one. <laughs> that's day one. <laughs> and I was like so determined to, you know, show everybody in class that I could climb. Yeah. And so I made it, climbed down, yes. climbed the other side down, yes. And then it was like, oh my gosh, I have the whole class left and I, my arms are jello. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that was like the first that 15 was it. That minutes. Was, that, was, yep, that was all the juice I had, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'd wake up those first few weeks in the middle of the night, like clenched like this, because yeah. I think I was dreaming about trying to do stuff. Like hanging on for dear life? Like, yeah, pretty much hanging on for dear life. It's amazing though how your body like wants to save itself. It doesn't want you to fall. And yeah. so you generally will hold on a lot harder than you think you could. <laughs> I'm not sure if Jesse is in an acrobatics class or on the show Fear Factor <laughs> from that description, but I am living for it. Okay, and actually I'm so intrigued to learn more. So yeah. the actual silk fabric itself, yes. is, it is it slippery? It or is a little bit slippery. Okay. Yep, and so we have some kind of rosin, like almost like what gymnasts would use okay. that we'll use a little bit. And yeah. it, like in the winter, especially when it's so dry, you're really kind of going to get those hands sticky oh. up. Um, and you want, you know, you've got to have, you wear bare feet, of course, and okay. then you want to be able to stick like with your ankles and stuff too. Yeah, and then it's kind of, you have to like form knots. Like even looking at yes. these photos. Yeah, how, and yep. like they call harness. it a foot lock. Yep, uh -huh. so you, you lock your feet in, okay. which is honestly incredibly painful. It is? <laughs> it is. <gasps> and then they tell you at the beginning of class, when when they teach you the footlock, they say, um, "Yep, so this hurts," and eventually your brain will stop telling you it hurts. Okay. Because your you know your brain will go, "Okay, you're not actually in danger," uh, but yes, yeah, it's it's, un it's not comfortable. I feel like this is like the <laughs> ballet mantra or any type of performer in that way, where yeah. it's like. <laughs> Not beauty is pain, but the talent is pain. But you yes. just gotta kind of, and you want to make it look like it's graceful and not painful. But, okay, but it, but it is. Well then, and then pink there, flying literally around the I Fargo know. Dome. So, are you gonna add a song to the repertoire <laughs> to the performance? We do have performances every now and then, so See? I'm, I'm trying to work my way up to that. But of course, I've got to do a pink song. 
you know, we'll see though if I get to do that. Here, I'm thinking I'm so great I can like do a footlock and hold myself in the you air. You are pigs, so great. Pigs flying no, around. No, you are so great. I think that is truly incredible. And what a creative outlet that people don't even realize is at their disposal in this region. Yeah. I think that you just kind of get caught up and you're like, oh, exercise, and you kind of right. get bored with it or yep. it's not fun. And look at you. This sounds incredible. That's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I've went to enough, you know, of these these certain classes. Yeah. I've kind of done those to death. Let me yeah. see what else is out there. And wow. so we are lucky to have of that aerial gym here. It's the only one in the area. So. I'm astonished right now. It's fun. It's and you know what? Fun. We've had different types of guests where they had like rings and they were flipping yes. around and stuff like that. And it's just something you truly don't think about until it's right there. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> exactly. I mean, not today. <laughs> I wouldn't even make it past the first class, but it is oh, you so would. incredible. You would. You would, you would very surprise cool. yourself. Yeah. Very, you have some cool. interesting bruises, you know, <laughs> from the silk. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good point. It's always fun. Good it's like point. battle scars. Yeah. You feel good about it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, that was very cool. How enlightening. I learned so much. And then, uh, obviously, yeah, hats off to the Pink concert. That was an incredible oh, show. Oh, it was. I can't believe all the stuff that they bring. You know, I mean, for every concert, yeah. just the semis and semis mm -hmm. full of stuff. But mm -hmm. that was very cool. Yeah, very fun. I love the Fargo Dome. I was actually yelling at Jessie when she told me she went to the concert because I, I go to solo to concerts constantly. That's awesome. I will just get a ticket and go. And I almost thought about snagging a last minute nosebleed seat. Yeah. And now that I found out you were there afterward, I should have just done it. Like you could have called me. Could I would have, have told Pink, me. hey, my friend can perform with you. <laughs> I would have said, strap her in. Strap her in, let's go. <laughs> all right, they're showing my funky hair. I had to go all out oh, and do a, a big faux hawk, you know, to match. Match, try to match pink, but I wasn't willing to do the haircut, but I, I thought I'd try. I love this. It okay. was really fun. You know what? Next you had time. the best time. I was getting <laughs> smothered by a king-size mattress. I heard that yesterday. I was going to say, if you tuned in yesterday, you found out that I lost the battle to my to my king-size mattress, box spring, bed frame, the whole thing went down in flames. But I did want to mention, I finally made it out to Mint and Basil yesterday, the boutique oh, on Main yes. Avenue. yes. It's beautiful. I stopped by after I got out of work yesterday. I was driving by, and I thought, today's the day I'm going in. Yeah. I don't want to tell you how much stuff I bought. Loved it. Oh, I can't wait to see it all. Well, I always hear such great reviews of all the boutiques downtown and yes. just even Broadway, Main Avenue, yep. that whole region in Fargo. And I was so excited to go down there. And then I was pleasantly surprised. So. Nice. Well, yeah. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then your bank account was also pleasantly surprised. Oh, yeah. Maybe we're, not so pleasant. We're not talking about that. When's payday next yeah. week? Oh, mm. yeah. We got another week. Yeah. E. Oh, oh, well. well. <laughs> Shrugging that one off. <laughs> it's, fun. it's a work expense, right? You need those clothes for work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that that overall <laughs> denim jumpsuit I got, for sure. <laughs> no, it was fun, though, and I did want to give them a shout-out. It's a really beautiful space, and I finally made it down there, so I was excited about that. Okay, coming up on today's show, are you feeling a little crazy with some universal alignment? Uh, are the stars aligning in your personal universe? We're going to find out. Our girl Shamini Astrology is joining us right here after the break. I'm pretty sure Mercury is going to go in a retrograde so we can blame all of our problems on the planets. Nice. That's what I like to do. Stick around. You're watching North Dakota today. We'll be right back.